YouTube. So today I have got the great pleasure of uh, testing out a new uh, addition for the van project, which is quite exciting. Um, the lovely people from Lensan, which are a, they're basically a solar panel maker from Hong Kong, um, they got in touch with me and asked if I'd do a little review um, on one of their flexible solar panels. So I kindly obliged. They sent one to me um, in the middle of winter. Probably not the best time to do a review, but as you can see, we've got a lovely, glorious, sunny day. Um, it's actually only about two degrees, but in the sun it feels warmer. Um, so obviously some of the readings we pull out of the panel on the review are going to be a bit lighter. But I'll just go through the panel. Um, it basically arrived in this box here. You can see um, Lenson Solar Flexible Panel. Um, I've already opened the panel. It came actually in a box with... Um, uh, what did it come with? Um, this box just behind it, um, which is like a cardboard box that protects it. And then another sleeve that it was in as well. So it's actually got three things protecting it, which is great. Um, and the really exciting thing about this panel, I don't know if you can see this up close, but this panel is um, made of a uh, material called ETFE. Now I'll put down the bottom of the screen what that means, because I haven't got a clue. Um, but it's basically a very different type of panel than what you might think of if you think of a solar panel. Solar panel. You might think of um, a very rigid glass frame perhaps um, this one is an 80 watt one and as you can see it's got like this ETFE material on the front um, which actually is kind of rubberized in a way this material is really hard wearing it's the same sort of stuff they use on boats um, so you can actually walk on it um, without damaging it the panel is very very thin it's only about where are we see that's about two maybe three mil thick um, which is great and then actually on the reverse side you can see it's not actually metal but again it's um, like a black material um, and it's actually got that ETFE just on the side so whatever metal material or surface you fix it onto it's not going to scratch it there are these little mounting eyelets on each corner now for my van I've obviously got a VWT fire that's why many of you are watching in um, what I'll do, I think I'm going to mastic this um, with some Secaflex or something, but strong silicon sealant. Um, I won't actually make use of these eyelets, but um, for some applications, like on boats and things, they actually have mountings like that. You can buy mountings to fit them on there. Um, the cable it comes with, as you can see, it's got like this housing here um, where the cables come out, and I think you get about 1.2 meters worth of cable that finish in these MC4 connectors. I've actually bought a, an extension cable for it, which you can see just stemming off of there, just so that I can fit it into my van. One of the things that you need when you're buying a solar panel is one of these, uh, which is a little controller or regulator. Uh, this, is, uh, this one's an MPPT one. Now there are two different types predominantly. There's obviously lots of different makes. Um, the main one and obviously the cheaper ones aren't MPPT, they're just a controller. Um, but actually with the MPPT ones, I've done a little bit of research and they can basically harvest about 30% more energy, energy that would be wasted from the solar panel by using a normal controller. Just by having an MPPT uprated controller, you'll get an extra 30% solar from the same panel. Just to underline, this is a review, it's an unbiased one, but they have sent me the kit other than the controller, which I paid a little bit more for. Um, they sent me this free of charge. This is the 80 watt one. Um, they also do this in a silver finish. Um, but what we'll do now, we're just going to go through um, looking at some of the numbers that it runs out of. As you can see here, I'm not much of an electrician, but I've bought myself a handy little um, multimeter. And I'm also, um, I've bought a little gel leisure battery, which is just down there, um, which we're hooked into as well, just to see what it's charging. Now, partly the problem is that leisure battery is full. So some of the numbers that are coming out of the panel are limited because the controller won't let it overcharge the battery. So it, it basically prevents the panel from sending through more energy. But doing some of the open circuit tests and things like that, I'm actually plugged into the panel now. And as you can see on here, um, it's pulling out almost four amps, um, which is considering it's two degrees, um, it is very sunny. Again, if I show you there, there's not a cloud in the sky but we are in the middle of winter and it's pretty much operating almost at full capacity um, in the middle of winter, which is amazing. Um, it can actually pull in 4.44 amps um, and we're kicking on to 3.91 as a high at the moment. Um, the sun's probably its highest it's gonna to be today. 
Um, so that's quite good. So I've now set it all up so that we can have a little look. Excuse the sun right behind me, it might blind you. Uh, we're now looking at the open circuit voltage, which as you can see, um, just down there on the bottom, the open circuit voltage um, is 21.4 volts on here and in two degrees temperature in the middle of the UK winter, um, the panel is pulling out 20.7 uh, volts which is really impressive. Um, so quite how um, good this will be in bad light, I'm not too sure. That'd be another test maybe to do on another day. Um, I'm actually gonna fit this probably in February or March. Um, it's actually the middle or near the end of January, 2017. So um, probably February, March, if I can get two or three nice clear days, I'm gonna do all the wiring on the van and then um, we'll do some more tests off the back of that which would be good so i'll post those up specifically uh, this is an 80 watt panel they also do a 100 watt panel um, as well um, they sent me the 80 watt one to test in all reality i think i'd like to use a 100 watt one um, just because of the extra oomph that gives to the battery the charging capacity but you can actually run these in parallel you can have two i've seen people on youtube that got three or four of these um, installed um, on the roof of larger vans like sprinters or crafters um, it's a really good way of making use of free energy um, and price wise actually having looked on Amazon and some other things it's really worth checking out the Lenson website. Um, some things for critique um, perhaps the um, only thing is how long is this going to last for um, so what I'll do is in six months I'm actually going away for um, two or three months in the van on and off um, over the summer then would be a good time to do another test so once it's been installed in the van for a little while and then also um, perhaps this time next year after 12 months of an install um, we can check it again and just see how hard wearing it is but it does seem really good um, i've seen some other reviews that they do you can check out their youtube channel um, it's a good bit of kit i'm very happy thank you lenson for sending it through um, if you've got any questions please post up in the comments and i'll try and answer i'm certainly no expert on these solar panels but i feel like i'm learning quickly um, very impressed with the numbers it's pulling out seriously it is um, as you can see it's a sunny day but it is cold um, but in, it's amazing you, you can, can actually feel the heat on this panel just feeling it it's really warmed up well um, so again the only other critique um, what's that going to do to the metal work underneath the van um, I think because of this ETFE backing on the back of the panel actually that dissipates a fair bit of the heat rather than it just being a metal bit of metal and metal on the top of the van uh, which sometimes can blister the paintwork I don't think that will be a problem um, I'll obviously do a video as always installing this um, along with the other electrics um, so yeah exciting stuff very very pleased <laughs>